everyone, my name is Dr. Jillian Wong, and I'm an optometrist who regularly treats dry eyes with a technique called meibomian gland expression. Today we're going to watch the meibomian gland expression from 2020 for this patient. After this set of videos, we're going to watch the same patient in 2021, and then after that, we're going to compare the two. Meibomian gland expression helps to clear out the thickened oils that are in the meibomian glands, Originally, the purpose of the meibum, which is the oil in the meibomian glands, is to help coat the tears and prevent the tears from evaporating. But if the oil is thick, then basically there is going to be no way that the oils will flow by themselves, which is why we need to clear them. So when the oils are thick like this, then the person typically has something called MGD or meibomian gland dysfunction. Based on the thickness of this patient's oils, then he does have severe to moderate MGD, which will result in dry eyes. But actually, this patient is asymptomatic. This patient actually did have LASIK, and occasionally LASIK patients can have long-lasting dryness due to changes in the corneal nerves when the procedure is performed. So back in 2020, I actually didn't use the Collins Expressor Forceps on the top lid much, although I did change this kind of at the end of 2020 and also in 2021, where I will more often do the expression on the top lid now, just because some patients noted a significant difference when I did. The next time I saw this patient was in 2021. So after one year of working from home, increased computer usage because of COVID-19 pandemic, and probably more stress, then typically people's dry eyes actually did get worse. And then on first impression, then it does look like the oils are even thicker than in 2020. After this set of videos, we'll watch the 2020 and 2021 videos side by side though, so that we can compare a little bit better. But most likely the MGT did get worse. Also, one other thing to note is that typically when people get older, MGD will also get worse.
and I mentioned before, I did start doing the top lid more often for some people in 2021, including in this case. That means that when we do the comparison for the videos from 2020 to 2021 later in the video, we actually are only going to compare the bottom lids. That's just because of the top lids we use two different methods. So comparing the top lids wouldn't be an exactly fair comparison. Next, we're going to compare the two sets of videos. So 2020 will be on the left, 2021 on the right. So even on the very first squeeze, then we can see this uh, toothpaste-like secretion coming out of that one gland in 2021. That actually would be one of the worst types of oil that can be produced by your meibomian glands, one that is almost solid and toothpaste-like. Typically, this will happen with increased inflammation. And then if the oil glands are not cleared, then that also causes more inflammation. For MGD and dry eyes, it is a chronic condition that typically will get worse unless the cycle of inflammation can be broken. This is now the other eye, which is the right eye. So inner corner and central of the right eye, I would say actually do look quite similar. Probably the only difference that we'll be able to tell is in this outer corner. So here in 2021, then you can see that it is a solid like consistency in 2021. And then in 2020, actually, it does look just slightly thinner. Overall, this was an interesting comparison to see how someone's eyes can progressively get a little bit worse over the one year. Although there are many other factors that need to be considered, like age and the fact that we went through a global pandemic with a lot of stress. Also, mask wearing, unfortunately, did not help too much with the dryness just because of the airflow that went over people's eyes. It did cause a lot of evaporation and dryness. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video.